Hi friends, let's talk science today. Uh, I think you will find this very interesting and I feel like sharing with you all. It's so relevant in today's life. So I have a PhD in computational engineering. However, I was so fortunate to have a project uh, that I was working for my PhD to have application in biomedical area because it's is this so interesting biomedical uh, field so my dissertation topic was all about lungs uh, how when in we inhale the air and particles within it how they travel inside our lung tubes and what is the fluid dynamics structure dynamics of it and all the physics related to it and how the particles are being deposited and how you can visualize them how you can do computational uh, processing on that um, modeling and simulation so it was all so interesting and I want to just show you just a little bit that how see the particles are being traveled in the lung tubes and this is part of my uh, work now I spent probably more than 10 years on understanding all this physics behind it one takeaway if I can take from my research into practical life day-to-day -day life is that whatever we breathe in is equally if not more important as what we eat because whatever we breathe in it's getting deposited into our lung tubes and being readily absorbed within seconds that it can be absorbed into our entire body system and that is so cool so while i was studying all that i found it very interesting and these days this is so relevant to all of us because we know that indoor house um, indoor home air quality is way more inferior than outdoor air quality these days because of the phthalates, the formaldehydes, the artificial fragrances that comes from the aerosols, from the cleaning sprays, from the plugins uh, to make our house smell good or from the candles. All these things and much more contribute all these products contribute to toxic level of pollutants inside our home and we are being alarmed by it and we are being concerned by it and it is such a valid concern because I have studied that firsthand and so was I concerned uh, so I find the concept of diffuser so interesting and so meaningful and so relevant uh, that it just makes me feel so happy the only thing that this is missing is essential oils and water and that is just going around in my house so I can make my house smell good without the chemicals without polluting my house more and also the chemical constituents that essential oils have such as delaminin you just google it delaminin that comes in the citrus oils such as orange lemon um, lime all of uh, all of these oils have delaminin which is amazing antioxidant very powerful for our immune system for our entire wellness and we can just readily take it and it gets into our system uh, very fast then sesquiterpenes sesquiterpenes are so good to um, stimulate the limbic system in our brain so that we can focus better we have better emotional health and it's just so fascinating to learn about all this chemistry of this and science of this essential oils so i just wanted to share this thing with you uh, oils like sandalwood cedarwood frankincense all of them are very high in sesquiterpenes so if you want to have a nice focus you should try those oils now moving on to uh, next science um, fact is that if you know my husband is a microbiologist he's a food microbiologist 
and while he was working on his postdoc after his PhD at Mississippi State University. It was probably five, six years ago. He came home and he was just so excited. He was like, Bella, do you know the plant extract that is called essential oils are so powerful and potent on killing pathogens and bacteria? And I'm like, really? And he was just so excited. He's like, oh yeah, they, they are even more powerful than any chemicals and they can kill bacteria by just their smell. Bacteria don't even touch them and they can kill them so effectively. So he, he and his colleagues have written about four papers on research on essential oils. But at that time I knew about essential oils but I had no idea about Young Living and I had no idea that you can use them to clean your house. So now we know about Thieves Household Cleaner and just gives me so much peace of mind that it, it is going to be antimicrobial. It's going to kill the microbes or pathogens from my house effectively and at the same time will not pollute my house more uh, because it's all natural. So I thought I should share this with you because is so fascinating and interesting i hope you found this useful let me know if you have any questions about um, my husband's research or my research if you are curious about understanding something and just let me know and if you have any questions about essential oils do let me know about that too and hope you have a great day bye